Hello everyone, this is Steve at Greenfield H2O. Today we have the 59 plate cell running again. We're going to do uh, we're gonna have some fun today. Uh, I've got uh, three flashback arresters that I'm going to test out. And um, I'm going to hook this up to the torch also. Show you some other uses of this uh, house current cell. This cell here is uh, 59 plates and um, it's hooked to uh, plug right into the wall and it has a little uh, power converter box here that converts the AC to DC and drives the cell and uh, we're running about a little over 6 amps right now the max on this is 15 amps um, we're running about 7 liters a minute and I've got my bubbler here Bubbler does have a flash port, so as we're testing these uh, flashback arresters, uh, I am uh, being safe. Uh, this port's been tested; it uh, works very well uh, to stop the uh, flashback from making it to this area here. Making it here is uh, that's bad news. Uh, I've seen one of those blow up before. So what we have today is. Uh, Sorry for my mess, but uh, got this little guy here. We're gonna test out. Got this from a guy uh, in of all places, Poland. We're gonna test that out today, and we're gonna test this one out today. Might look familiar familiar to you. Um, kind of a bigger one, but uh, this is pretty much a guaranteed product to work. The one I'm the most excited about is uh, <clears throat> this little guy right here. I've got it hooked up to the to the hydrogen right now. Just a little thing, probably three inches long. And you might recognize this too. Uh, uh, another guy here on YouTube builds and sells these. But uh, I've seen this uh, stop 10 liters a minute. And um, the flashback arresters that that I build, like this one here, they work really well, but they don't work very good over about three and a half liters a minute. So we're going to test out these three flashback arresters in this video today. Okay, so I'm going to stick this camera on the tripod, and we're going to set up and. Uh, try out this little guy see how it works okay we're set up on the uh, small arrestor here doesn't look like I can zoom in any more than that without making it blurry we're going to go ahead and hit this and uh, see how it works start up the torch here Okay, and here we go. Well, it seems to work really well. Pop the hose off of it. Put that hose back on. I want to try this one more time. Okay, here it goes. Now it's burning. Well, I guess that pretty much uh, tells the story for that one.
I'm gonna go ahead and set up the uh, next one. I don't think this is a bad arrestor. I just think with a little bit more refinement, this could be a great arrestor. arrestor. Let's go ahead and uh, test out this one. Let me flip on the generator again and we'll uh, give a couple hits. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, here goes. Very nice unit. I think if you've got the room under your hood, this is the way to go. Very nice unit. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hook up the uh, little one from Poland, and we'll give that one a try. All right, we've got the uh, a little brass one hooked up here, and we're gonna go ahead and give it a try. I've got a uh, different hose on it. This uh, this one is uh, made to use a quarter inch hose. Okay, here we go. I went ahead and shut out the light so we could see this one. It seemed to be working pretty good. Let me go ahead and hit it again. As you can see, it seems to be doing well. The, uh, this arrestor is a little bit restrictive, but it does, the pressure does equalize and it flows normally. Hit it one more time. This arrestor is getting real hot. The outside is melting off of it. I think what's happening right now is there's a fire on the inside of this. Very hot. Shouldn't be like that. Yeah, it's going to flash back through here in a second. Um, you can hear it too. So there's a flame on the inside of this, so uh, this little arrestor, I wouldn't trust it. So I just shut off the gas. Oof. So I guess I had a little internal flame going on there. I came over here to che check it out, and the uh, hose was melting. So that's a dead giveaway that there's a fire there. And that's the biggest problem with with these arresters is they act like mini torches. So this concludes this video. Hope everyone enjoyed watching it. 
This is Steve at GreenFuelH2O.com. Thanks for watching.